hello there. It's Corbett Harrison, that guy who shares writers' notebook strategies. I've been playing with the idea this last month of adding postcards to my writer's notebook, and uh, this little video is about uh, some of the strategies that we've been using, so welcome to it. Hey, if you're not aware, we do have at our website, Always Write, which is actually CorbettHarrison.com, we have a monthly lesson that we put out, and all of 2017 we've been putting out ideas specifically for getting your students to be more excited about what's in their writer's notebook. Move my little picture up here on punctuation takes a vacation, which is one of the mentor ticks texts suggested this month in our Edge postcard uh, lesson, which uh, I certainly hope that you'll be interested in after watching this video. If you're interested in finding it without going and digging through my website, uh, if you just go to Google Corbett Harrison, as long as you spell it right, two T's, two R's, and Edge postcards or some hint of what my lesson was called and you'll always be able to find it usually is the first or second hint that will come up but you should always be able to find them that way but uh, at the postcard oh let me move my picture again at the po at, at the lesson um, we have things like uh, postcard templates these are three of the four that I created and posted uh, you can print these in color you can print these in black and white once they're printed you trim them fold them it looks like a real postcard um, right on them and then once they've been written on you can kind of tape just barely around the edges so that you're not actually printing on a, the front side and back side of something uh, but it ends up looking like a postcard uh, but you end up with a postcard that way but there are three or four actually featured there are three of the four featured at the um and the uh these are featured at the le the website uh lesson which also comes with ideas and uh, here are the ideas in a nutshell that we share with these postcards the idea of spending a day or two you know i have to use this postcard i wonder what i can spend the next day or two writing that would somehow involve a postcard so starting from a fresh blank page um, is one of the ideas that we suggest um, and then somehow incorporating a postcard on day one or day two as part of the piece of writing that's taking shape inside the writer's notebook. That's one idea that we share at the lesson online here called Edge Postcards. One of the other lesson ideas that we share are is that you go back and you look at previous writing that you did and you say to yourself, boy, I'm a better writer now. What was missing that day or what was on vacation that day that might send me a postcard to point out the fact that it was there and these postcards are intended to go back in your notebook not in a forward you know back on pages that you have previously written on in your notebook and the third idea and this is just one i've started um, is to create a collaboration among my students where they figure out a way to send postcards to each other that aren't just silly notes but somehow useful to one another we're starting this exchange right now but uh, it sounded like a fun idea when my students suggested it and as it develops i will post their ideas ideas at the website at the lesson at the website so uh, welcome to it so here's kind of what it looks like here's an edge postcard in my uh, writer's notebook um, this is uh, in October the Orionids which is a, a an annual uh, meteor shower uh, was coming and everybody said oh you're gonna watch it and I just was so tired and so I wrote a letter to 2 a.m. and said I'm sorry I just can't get up at 2 a.m. to watch the meteor shower this year and then I wrote myself the next day a postcard from the Orionid saying hey where were you you missed a good show and I ended up taping the page that uh, the postcard down um, on the edge of the page thus the name edge postcards but it wasn't just one piece of writing about the Orionids it became two pieces of writing that combined together with a simple piece of little tape between the postcard and the edge of the page and uh, that's what I want to share with you now if you flipped it um, this is what the front of the postcard actually looks like uh, my little screenshot of it I made a postcard specifically uh, for the Orionids and that's the picture of where you would look in the sky to look at those meteorites but the idea is I kind of got a little flippy thing going on in my writer's notebook now there you're seeing both sides of it at once um, sometimes I go back and I look this is kind of idea number two that I had posted earlier uh, sometimes I go back and I look for pages where I liked what I wrote but I didn't necessarily had time to be visual that day I think it's fine to not be visual in 
your notebook. And so here is me showing how to be visual. This is that page, all right? I took that page. I took what I wrote on the right-hand side about the change of weather, and I decided to write myself a postcard um, from the on the, the weather that was uh, coming towards us. And so um, I ended up taping the postcard down after I had written on it right on the edge where you're seeing it. Uh, that is the exact tape that I used, if that happens to be of interest to you. But here's what I learned in doing this. You tape, and you don't want your tape to go beyond the edge of the actual postcard. Um, sometimes you're tempted to pull off too big a piece of tape and go beyond so that thinking it will really hold it down better. The truth is it doesn't hold it down better. Um, that little flap that is right where that arrow is when you either lift the postcard there's a little excess of tape there that's either going to rip the postcard or it's going to come up peel up from the page and leave some sticky residue that will make your pages start to stick together in your notebook and so the wise thing to do is be conservative with your tape make sure the tape fits that way and so tape it well on that side and then carefully but very firmly rub it down so it's going to stay the problem with having things that flip back and forth in your notebook is they with wear and tear they'll start to fall out and you don't want that to happen and then here's the opposite side and there you can see um, my notebook has written me this letter and, or this, this, this postcard. Um, I taped it down on one side. Now here's, if I was taping it down on this side, my piece of tape would go kind of right there. Again, being conservative, not going beyond. You know, that's the scope of the lesson idea that we posted for November at our website. And, uh, we are just looking for ways this whole year to get students more excited about their writer's notebooks. Um, I, enjoy sharing my writer's notebooks and now my students are starting to see all of these flippy things like um, postcards popping up all over the place and that interests them to do similar ideas in their notebooks. We have postcards um, from the edge of our writer's notebook pages now and uh, that's just one more suggestion. Hey come visit us at Always Write anytime. Uh, we have great ideas for not just writer's notebooks but for for vocabulary and for all and mentor text all sorts of great ideas to help you help your students enjoy the process of writing just a little bit more have a great day everyone thanks for visiting bye